I knew that if somebody had just died off of it, then it was good, potent heroin. And that's what I wanted. Crazy, right? It can sound crazy to those of us who don't understand, those who have never lived in the grips of an addiction to something like heroin. We have been covering this crisis for years now, yet there is always some new piece of information or perspective that surprises us. Like when police told us that when somebody dies from an overdose, their friends want to know where they can get some of those drugs. So Frank Wiley sat down with former addicts and dealers to see what it's like to chase that deadly high. Well, the drug consumes users and dealers. In Akron, opioids have grabbed a hold of neighborhoods. Every addict I talked to said they'd overdosed a couple of times. Here. Needles nudged that rugged track mark cross for 20 Here. years. Last week, an old obsession right. called. It's everywhere. It's where legacy lives. My dad overdosed and died a couple years ago yeah, because my father was an addict. William Bennett awoke on a stretcher after falling on his face. Days before, dealers waited on his release outside prison. These would all, you know, be scar tissued up, so I'd have to go on my hands. Those hands haven't held his kids in years, and now his son knows. Grammy, I told you that my dad loves drugs more than me. Not even death discourages. I've had three friends overdose since Monday. Good news for some users. It's killing somebody, you know, somewhere else. You're running to go get two, two of what they just got. Because wherever there's one down, there's four more coming, trust me. When I would hear that somebody overdosed, I'd be like, oh, where can I get that at? She snorted heroin and eventually shot up. That was eight years ago. I had a infection from IV drug use. It gnawed away at her knee. Cravings ate at her. Tonight, Misty Best says she's 11 months clean. I was doing anything that I could to get money for drugs. Anything. That's how I stay sober. Tug Massa used to sell drugs. Hope dealer's on the corner now. That's what we want. Yes, sir. He runs Akron, say no to dope. Some say he's the only chance they have left. Being in prison is worse than being out here. I mean, they, they have drugs all over. Their crutch has proven, even if they leave the drug, it'll always be with them. And tonight, Akron Say No to Dope held a training class on Narcan, the elixir often used to reverse overdoses. Over the last eight months, the organization has provided treatment for hundreds of users. Rob? And Frank